Now in this video we're just going to show how to um, how to uh, save a reference waveform and it's not just saving a reference waveform we're saving all the settings that we were after using to take a measurement so uh, we're connected into a 2009 insignia we're checking voltage the voltage signal on the common rail injector um, we'll just run the engine here now just to we've, we've already taken a measurement but we'll just run it again just to show so we'll just hit play Just pause it now again. Right, so that's that's a known good measurement we're after taking from from this car. We have our, our signal here, our three different injection phases, our time base, our voltage scale is set up right, our time base is set up right, our trigger, everything is set up. So if we want to save this as a preset or a reference. So what we do is just make sure we're not going to be overwriting any of the already saved preset references that saved in, in, in GMTO's database. So you can see here there's no reference saved already. So what we do to, to make a reference out of this, we just hover over here. Uh, we're on channel one here at the moment. We just right click, create reference. So you can see now it's after creating the reference waveform. This is our, our, our reference. So now to save this as a known good reference and a, a known good setup or preset for, for taking this measurement again, we just go save as. Now if, if you if you go save on a on an already on an already made up preset or reference, you're going to overwrite what's already there. So you, you need to always go save as. And then we can type in Type in the, the vehicle details. So we can uh, put in the vehicle details, uh, maybe put in. Injector signal known code. Yeah, we can put in details here and here on it like this and go save. Or we pick where we want to save it, so we want to save it on the desktop. I'm sorry, also I forgot to mention if you want to add a comment to this, so you can also, as well as typing the details in, in the file name, we can add a comment box. Um, you can make move this around on the screen wherever you want to make it as big or as small as you like. Uh, put an arrow from from the comment box to a particular point on the on the waveform, and type in then whatever details you want. So I could put in the vehicle details here as well, the engine code, and various information, whatever you want to put in here. I'm just going to put in. I'll just type in Opal just, just, just to show. So we go OK. Now, I'm after making a bit of a change here, so we may go... Now, the, f the fact that we're already after going save as, we're after creating that file on the desktop, so now we can just go save, because we're only overwriting our, fi our file. So now we have the reference created. Just close out it all here. Right, I save it here. I have it saved here on my desktop, so we can come back to this in a month's time, year's time, whenever. Open it up. We have our, our reference here. Okay, hit play. So now you see the white line is our reference. The red line underneath it is, is the scope live on the screen on channel one. So if I connect back up to this card again.
now you can see the, the red is under, uh, playing underneath underneath a white reference and then we can turn on and off the reference here if we wish. So that's the, the, the first way of creating a reference. This is if we're working completely on our, our own, we're not using any of the presets. Um, so the main thing is just go file, save as, so we're not overwriting anything else. Just close out this. So for example, if we were using one of the, the presets that are already in the database, that already has a reference, if you happen to use that route to get into to, to take a measurement. We need to go, go about it slightly different. Uh, we'll have to remove the existing reference that they had first, then create her own reference and then do the same go save as with your vehicle details. So here we'll just, uh, this vehicle is listed in the brand specific one as well, but we'll just go in, we'll just go into the generic one. Engine management diesel, common rail, actuators. Injectors, so uh, ours is not piezo, standard common rail. Just takes a second to load up here because it's loading up some other technical information about common rail injectors and about the types of signals and all. You have various information, sample waveforms. Uh, if we click here we get more more information. And we see here that they're, they're, they were cl clicked on measurement signal. So when we launch the scope it's going to be set up to measure the signal and they're checking voltage on channel one and uh, the amps on channel two, so we might as well connect up the amps clamp as well. So we have the amps clamp connected with 720 20 amp range, 20 amp DC range on channel two, and volts connected to the injector on channel one. So we just launch the scope. Just press play and press the zero button on Damps clamp. You see now they have references already saved for voltage and amps. Now these are generic references that could be taken from any vehicle, but they're good. It's it's a good starting point if if you don't have a vehicle specific reference. Just up. Um, so now you can see we have a problem there, I have the amp clamp on the wrong way around, the signal is inverted, it's going down instead of up, so we just need to flip around the amp clamp. Now we have our, we have our, our measurements with our sample waveforms, even though this sample is from, from, from those what vehicle, it's, 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 it's not too far unlike the current car we're at. Anyway, so we can turn off the samples. Just move this up a little bit. Now we can pause it. So this setup already has two um, two references set uh, allocated to it. So if we want to remove these references before we make our own reference, we just go over here again, right click, go down to reference, delete, come over to channel two, go to reference, delete. Now we have all the references removed. 
and then we'll make our own reference that will be in exactly the same as these as the measurements we, we've taken so we hover over it right click create reference over here right click create reference now they're not showing up here because it's unclicked here so now we're after creating our own reference from the from the reading we've taken from the car so now we'll just hit play again see the white this one's our voltage reference and amps now we can st start the car up again So as you can see when the engine stabilizes from the more or less identical um, just just be aware of we've, we've taken this at a certain temperature with certain conditions so that it's going to look like this but if we were comparing this to a car that was 30 degrees hotter or something different going on the signal may look different so anyway, we can pause it now again And now if we want to save these references for, for future use, again, you can just add a comment here, type in vehicle details, the component we're testing, the temperature the car was at, and various other information that you want to key in here. And again, make sure to go save as, because if we click save, we're going to overwrite the preset that they, that they have already in the software, so we'll go save as. Same thing again, put in the vehicle details. I'm just going to... So pick where we want to save it. Desktop again, save. So now again, if we come back to that car in... Or the same type of car in six months time or weeks time, we have, we have no good reference here. So yeah, that's about here on reference and um, references and presets. So as well as GMTO's huge database of references, generic and vehicle specific, you can then um, build your own, known good, known good references and presets, and also any ref good, known good ones we collect, we will be sharing with any people that have have this package. Thanks again. Bye.